Okay, in this lecture we're going to talk about how to deal with rational exponents. Now remember a rational number is a number uh, which can be written as uh, a over b, like a fraction, all right? It's a rational uh, where uh, both a and b are integers. That's positive or negative whole numbers as well as zero. Okay, the first thing to note here is this. Uh, suppose I have two to the power of uh, four and I divide it by two to the power of two. Then we end up with two by two by two by two and we end up with two by two and this gave us two to the two. All right, because we had um, the four minus the, the two. Now what happens if we do it uh, similar to this, but let's suppose we have 3 squared over 3 to the 5. Then this would be 3 by 3, divided by 3 by 3 by 3 by 3 by 3. And of course these are cancelling to leave me with 1 on the top and 3 cubed on the bottom. And notice this is still the same as 3 of by 2 minus 5. So it also works uh, like this particular um, case where we have the exponent is higher and uh, larger on the bottom than it is on the top. Okay. All right, so uh, notice here then that this is implying then that uh, if I take any general number, all right, and uh, notice that this was negative 3 here, all right. If I take it to the negative n, this is simply 1 over a to the n, okay, where n is some kind of integer. All right, uh, so consequently, uh, this leads us to a few examples of using this particular rule. Let's suppose I want to use, um, we want to uh, evaluate the following. All right, and uh, we always want to make sure that we end up with... Um, a positive um, result and so if we have for example um, let's suppose I have 10 to the power of uh, negative 4 this of course is 1 over 10 to the 4 if it's a positive um, number and for a positive exponent so of course this is 1 over 10,000 all right, let's do another one. Let's suppose we have um, negative four to the negative one. Now, please remember that the four is the only thing being raised to the negative one. So this will be the negative of, if you like, if I use parentheses, I don't have to, but this would be four to the one. So this is really one quarter. All right, part C. Let's suppose I have, um, uh, let's see, um, And let's suppose we have uh, three um, fifths to the negative three. Okay. All right. So what this is going to be one over three fifths cubed. Now we also already know that this will be um, three cubed. Of course, is twenty-seven, and five cubed is one twenty-five, and then we invert and multiply, of course, and we get one twenty-five over. 27. Okay, what if we have something like uh, m n to the negative 3? Okay, this of course now m is just raised to the power of m, so 1, so this will just be m, and this will be n cubed now, would be our result. And let's do part, the last part here. Let's suppose that we have m n to the power of negative 5 then of course this would be 1 over m n to the 5 which of course is 1 over m to the 5 n to the 5 right so that's how we do that one the next thing we want to talk about is what's called the quotient rule and the quotient rule says this right that if I it's just a generalization of what we did at the top there then you actually have that this is the subtraction of the exponents. Now, 
little side note over here. What if I have a to the m divided by a to the n? But this m, this n is actually an m. Then of course this will in fact be a to the zero. But notice that the a to the m's, all right, would cancel out, and that's equal to one as well. Right, a short example of this is what if I have 2 squared on 2 squared. This would be 2 by 2 over 2 by 2. Notice that we cancel here to get 1, and we have 2 to the 2 minus 2, which is 2 to the 0, and that must be 1. Okay, so we have that. All right, so let's look at some examples of this. Okay, again, we want to, uh, we're going to simplify each of these. Okay, and uh, let's do part A. Let's suppose that I have um, uh, 9 to the uh, 3 over uh, 9 to the 2 then we'll have, of course, 9 to the 3 minus 2, which is 9 to the 1. Let's do part B. Let's suppose I have y to the 5 over y to the negative 4. Then this, of course, becomes y to the 5. Now this will be 1 over y to the 4. We invert and multiply, so we really have y to the 5 by y to the 4, which of course is y to the 9. Okay. Notice that we could do it here. Um, 5 minus minus 4 would be 5 to the 9. Okay, let's look at another one. Let's suppose we have um, 45 uh, x to the 6 over um, 20 r uh, to the, oh, sorry, x to the um, negative 4. So this will be, now we need to take care of the the uh, numbers separately, so let's do that separately like so. And then the this will become 6, and this will be 1 over x to the 4, so this will be 5 into this go, of course, uh, 9 over 4. And this will be x to the 6 by x to the 4 in burden and multiply. This will be 9x to the 10 over 4. Right, and that's how we do that kind of uh, uh, work with exponents, all right, uh, using those exponent rules.